Hello, humans. Today is a great day because no, it's not because school started. It's because the Pixel 5a has just launched today. It launched somewhere around 12. Google just sneakily launched it, obviously, because they don't want the budget phone to steal the show of their Pixel 6 launch. And I was really excited for it. The Pixel 5a has always been my wanted next phone. Until I looked at what it really is. The Pixel 5a is pretty much just the Pixel 4a 5G. But with water resistance and a bigger battery. Like, that's it. Like, there's nothing even different. It's not even an Android version newer. And the Pixel 4a 5G was already similar to the Google Pixel 5. So, the Pixel 5, Pixel 4a 5G, and the Pixel 5a, they're practically the exact same phone. Now, normally I would have just pulled up the spreadsheets from my website, but so far, like, there are no actual specs available on the websites. Like, these do have the specs that are from the rumors, which are not f correct. But let me just tell you this. It's the camera is exactly the same. The processor is exactly the same. The software is exactly the same. The display is pretty much exactly the same, with only like a 0.2 inch difference of screen size. And the fact that the Pixel 5 has a 90 hertz refresh rate. But other than that, it's the exact same thing with the exact same looking punch hole. What are the differences then? The Pixel 4a 5G and the 5a has a headphone jack, while the Pixel 5 does not. The Pixel 5 and 5a have wireless charging, whereas the 4a 5G does not. And that the Pixel 5a has a 4,685 milliamp battery. Prices that are launched MSRP or retail prices 699 for the 5, 499 for the 4A 5G, and now 449 for the 5A. So what pretty much what Google did this year was just make a more affordable and slightly upgraded version of the 4A 5G. So, yes, I mean, that is fine. And they upgraded like some things and like the battery which people care about because people don't care about the specs but the most important thing is they also reduced the price by $50 from the 4a 5g but the thing is affordable smartphones like they have been pretty much like the most of school smartphone sales but the 4a 5G and the 5 are just already too similar to begin with. The, f the 5a is just too similar to the other two phones. At this point, it's just like seeing which has a better deal and just get that one. Sure, there are some more differences. Like both the 5 and the 5a has a metal unit body with IP water resistance. But the metal is coated with plastic and the water resistance might not matter to some people. Remember, I'm a huge fan of Google phones and being a phone reviewer, it's important not to have bias for any company. But I just really want to point out my honest feelings about their lineup of phones right now thank you for watching if you enjoyed please consider subscribing it does help me out very much bye